Okay, this lesson we're going to have a look at using Excel to do some statistical analysis of collected data. Uh, in previous lessons, you should have been collecting data on house prices for this example um, and typed them up. Uh, what I've done is I've collected 20 from Manchester and 20 from Cardiff, and now I'm going to use some stats to compare prices there. I've also got them listed by you know different groups i've got types of houses terraced semi-detached detached flats um, number of bedrooms and you could you know i'm not going to show it in this video but you can do some further um, stats comparing you know prices based on um type of house bedrooms etc okay um you, you can pull that data out quite quite easily and copy it elsewhere and do this so I'll show you that first and how you go about doing that it's called filtering so if you highlight across the top row here and went to data tab and pushed filter you'll get these uh, drop down menus appear on um, at the top here so I can do things like I can click on the drop down list and select three beds over there and go over here and I could do the same on this one here Got three beds and we can see that there's the different ones in here okay um, that's a quick way to do it you could do it by sorting you could do it manually okay but that's filtering and you can always use that um, within Excel uh, we're not going to need it for the rest of this tutorial but I just wanted to give you that that information there okay so when you come to using, or come to doing your controlled assessment, it's up to you how you can compare these prices, where you're going to use these statistics within it. Okay, the choice has to be yours. Now again, this some some students might say this seems a little bit contrived. Remember, this is a skills-based qualification. We are assessing your skills. Showing that you can do this will gain you high marks in the numeracy element of this challenge and the digital literacy one. Okay, because you'll be demonstrating. Um, numeracy skills and digital literacy skills okay so on the left hand down here underneath i've got i've made a little table to compare some analysis between the two areas manchester and cardiff and i could take this table then and place it into a report and discuss the differences between them i've used formulas in all of these it's important that you do that you won't get credit for it otherwise you're going to want these formulas because it means you don't have to calculate so we've got the mean mode median okay and range and highest price and lowest price these are very um, standard statistical calculations in fact it's something you would have been taught in year nine okay uh, standard deviation is higher but it's pretty straightforward to do in um, in Excel so how do we go about doing these you should know most of the mean is the average Okay, so home back on the home tab here. We just click on this. We go, we want to do Manchester, so we're going to go up here and we're going to go average and we'll highlight we want, push enter there. Okay, and you can see those, those are appearing in there. Same up here, we've got average for Cardiff. There we go. It's got the average for Cardiff on, on that. Exactly the same with mode. If you look up in here, it's equals mode and the cell range. So I'll do it again here, equals mode and the cell range. So that one, can highlight it down to there, close the brackets, and it'll do the mode for you. And guess what, do the, we would do the same for, you can see up here, we do the same for Cardiff over here. Median, exactly the same, you just write the word median in front and choose the cell range. You can see it up here. Same for Cardiff, median, and, and there. To pick out the highest price, you can use this. You can go back over into these simple functions again. Is max, so you click max of that, and that goes there. You've got max of that, and the same over here, so it picks out the highest value. Lowest price, the opposite equals min of this cell range here equals min of that cell range there. So to work out the range between the lowest and the highest, we just take them away from each other. We take that those two away from each other so the range in price okay it's pretty significant there because we've got we found pretty 
low priced house here and we've got a high priced house uh, there in the uh, um, in, in Manchester okay and the same over here so the range is much less here because we this data I gathered has got quite significant outliers yeah okay in the data that we've got a very low price and quite a high price there compared to these are these other two so that's the simple um, stats there that allow you to compare uh, and you can do that quite quickly then you could look at the difference between the two okay so the difference in the mean you could take that one away from that one if you if you wanted to and there's 13,000 so Cardiff has a average price higher of 13,594 by by this one okay you could have the differences in the highest price the differences in the range etc one I really wanted to look at which you're not going to be so clued up on is the standard deviation formula and it's pretty straightforward it's a quite a long complicated way to do it um, on paper but in Excel you can see if you look up in here the formula function itself is called STDEV standard deviation and that's all you just type that equals STDEV here and highlight that down there close the brackets and we've got the standard deviation for Manchester you can see that there's a big difference between the two mainly because the range is so big for Manchester due to our outliers here we've got a low and a very high there compared to what we've collected from Cardiff being being like that you know you you might when you come to doing yours give yourself a budget and do um, only select houses between a certain amount that's fine you wouldn't have this problem this is just this spreadsheet here and this practice is just for you to realize um, how you go about creating base basic statistics to use in your financial report okay so have a go at doing these you'll have the, the template will be on Edmodo as always okay for these prices and you can have a go at working out some basic stats we'll come on to a little bit more difficult stuff in the next tutorial which is where we look at group statistics